सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा उद्धव गीता चैप्टर ट्वेंटी टू पेज थ्री ट्वेंटी नाइन वर्ष नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर तयात्मूत पिंडे व्याप्ते संपूज्य तन्मय आवाह्याचादिषुस्थप्य न्यस्तांगम्मा प्रपूजये इन अवर वैदिक स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड सेकेंडरी स्क्रिप्चर्स आगमा स्क्रिप्चर्स आर लिटरेचर द वर्शिप ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज इन मेनी वेज इन मेनी फॉर्म्स अनलाइक अदर रिलीजियंस द वर्शिप ऑफ लॉर्ड इज वेरी यूनिक टू हिंदू धर्म और वैदिक धर्म because of uh, its versatile vision of uh, looking at ishvara our vedas and uh, agamas are having a unique vision towards ishvara that ishvara who is uh, really formless but given form for our growth mental growth emotional growth intellectual growth so this design of a formed lord worshiping is the unique presentation of our आगम शास्त्र ईवन इन वेदा उपनिषद आलो दट इन कैवल्योपनिषत् उमा सहाय परमेश्वर विभुम दट पार्वती शिव द नेम कम्स सो वाट इज दिस यूनिकने एस ई एम बॉर्न इन दिस कलचर it is my prime responsibility to know the vision of our scriptures with regard to ishvara uneducated people illiterate people cannot think so deeply just they worship wherever the form appears either in temple or in puja room just they worship because more than that they cannot think but a mature person a refined mind the one who has got such a person if he or she is not thinking or knowing or not trying to know the nature of ishvara worshiping in him in 33 crores of forms Muppatti Mukkodi in Tamil they say. All one Ishvara appearing in all forms. What is this? A thinking person always dwell upon that. That is what we are doing in Uddhava Gita. In of course Bhagavad Gita also 10th chapter, 12th chapter. Bhagavan Krishna said. am i understanding this ishwara's perception 
perception towards Ishwara. It is not one person's vision or perception, but it is given by our ancestors, rishis. From ancient time it is coming. It is not just blindly doing puja, blindly offering, blindly means mechanical or out of fear or out of sentiment. Is it uh, correct to stop worshipping the Lord out of sentiment? Is it correct to stop to worship the Lord out of fear? Is it correct to worship the Lord out of some desires, fulfillment? All are not correct. Worshipping the Lord out of fear is also not correct. Worshipping the Lord out of sentiment is also not correct. Worshipping the Lord only to fulfill my desires is also not correct. What normally people are doing in the world? As a Vedantic student, as a Mumukshu seeker of knowledge, I am also doing the same thing. What is the difference? There must be some difference in Vedantic students' vision of perceiving the Lord and worshipping the Lord. There must be some difference because you are studying Uddhava Gita. All these shlokas in 22nd chapter, Uddhava asked, all people cannot grasp the highest nature of Ishwara, the Paramatma. For them also to come to that knowledge, is there a marga? Is there a way for them? Buddhava asked for the sake of humanity. This is called broad vision. Narrow vision is natural. But broad vision you have to cultivate. The human being evolution is what? What is that evolution? Broad thinking, broad mindedness. So in Sanatana Dharma, the Hindus have broad mindedness. That broad mindedness also is out of understanding. When that understanding is missing, in uh, worshipping the Lord with broad mindedness, with understanding, clear understanding, there will be a problem in the society with regard religion. When people are not able to understand the worship of Lord is not out of sentiment, not out of fear, not out of uh, fulfilling desires only, but understanding the Lord why I am worshipping, what for, is it necessary, I have to worship. That has to be assimilated, very important. Nothing is useless from our Shastra. Every statement of every scripture, either Vedic or Agamas, all are relevant. Their relevance I have to see. It is my job. My intellect has to derive that uh, what is that depth of worshipping the Lord. This is the topic is worshipping the Lord how to worship the Lord. We know Swamini every day we are doing at home. Here the point is with understanding, not mechanically. 
बिकॉज वी आर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ वेदांता ऑल पीपल डोंट हैव एन ऑपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ स्टडिंग भागवता उद्धव गीता एक्सेट्रा बट आई एम स्टडिंग इज देर एनी डिफरेंस बिटवीन अदर्स परसेप्शन टूवर्ड्स ईश्वरा एंड मई परसेप्शन टूवर्ड्स ईश्वरा वर्शिप देर वर्शिप एंड मई वर्शिप इज देर एनी डिफरेंस इन परसेप्शन एटीट्यूड दैट आई हेव टू चेक then alone you are a mature bhakta a refined devotee of the lord <coughs> then you are so favorable to bhagwan bhagwan desire that only <coughs> through these teachings of lord krishna either through bhagavad gita or through uddhava gita what we are doing we are going to the bhagwan's hridayam his heart his feelings what he wants us what way he wants us to understand what way bhagwan krishna wants us to understand about him that i have to understand then you become a real great bhakta that is gnani bhakta okay now bhagwan says he uddhava a devotee i always say 3d in the 3d means what devotee deity and devotion here deity is lord vishnu bhagwan krishna is talking therefore vishnu of course uh, other uh, gods also bhagwan krishna introduces he is not telling you worship me the vishnu alone krishna is talking about vishnu means vishnu krishna is the vishnu avatar therefore there is no difference between krishna and vishnu bhagwan krishna says people may worship devotion with devotion worshiping the deity then he becomes the devotee so deity can become a deity because of devotee devotee is a devotee when he has got or she has got devotion bhakti bhakta dheya bhagavan dheya means upon whom you meditate to whom you worship what for to face any type of experience in my life to strengthen myself to accommodate any experience i face in my life without any resistance enjoying the life without any resistance of any unfavorable experience that acceptance the strength to the mind is possible only by worshiping the lord ishvara otherwise why our ancestors rishis kept this there must be some great purpose that purpose i have to understand as a child i cannot understand i require lot of maturity to understand this why what is the purpose of worshiping the lord purpose of prayer purpose of purpose of puja purpose of abhishekam no k n o w no and do any worship then it is um, wonderful you enjoy it how to worship bhagwan is telling look into this shloka beautiful worship deha o devalaya proktah i said in the previous classes also that concept is brought here by lord krishna 
पिंडे व्याप्ते पिंडे व्याप्ते दैट मींस इन दिस बॉडी दैट हु इज परवेडिंग द साक्षी चैतन्य रूपेण भगवान इज देयर इन एवरी वन हार्ट तन्मय तन्मय मीन्स विष्णु भक्ति हि हेज टू बिकम अब्सॉर्ब संपूज्य पिंडे व्याप्ते तया आत्मूतया पिंडे व्याप्ते सति ऐ परमात्मा एम ई देर इन युवर हार्ट पिंडा मीन्स इन दिस बॉडी परवेडिंग इन दिस बॉडी इमेजिंग दैट परमात्मा इज देर इन सैड मी द साक्षी चैतन्य यू ब्रिंग आउट एंड इंस्टा इन दट ऐडल इन दट मूर्ति इन दट फॉम इन दन दट डेटी पिंडे व्याप्ते सति तया आत्मूतया बै द भक्त आत्मूतया भगवान इज पर्वेडिंग इन दिस बॉडी एस आत्मा आत्मूतया मीन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आत्मा हाउ साक्षी चैतन्य रूपेण एज विटने कॉन्शियने हाउ मच वेदांत यूज देर यू सी इन भागवत आत्मूतया संपूज्य तन्मय अर्चादिषु आवाह्य अर्चादिषु मीन इन दट फॉर्म ऑफ द लॉर्ड अपॉन हूम यू पुट फ्लवर्स यू डेकोरेट सो फ्रॉम दिस युअर हार्ट फ्रॉम दिस बॉडी यू हेव टू डू आवाहनम साक्षी चेत बिकॉज यू कैन नाट पुट फ्लवर्स अपॉन यू यू कैन नाट पुट वाटर ऑन अपॉन युअर हेड मिल्क हनी एंड ऑल यू कैन नाट पुट ऑन युअर हेड देन हाउ टू वर्शिप दट लॉर्ड यू ब्रिंग आउट फ्रॉम द हार्ट फ्रॉम युअर बॉडी यू हेव टू इमेजन दिस आत्मूतया पिंडे व्याप्ते सती दट लॉर्ड हेज टू बी तन्मय संपूज टोटल एब्सॉर्शन यू हेव टू वर्शिप हिम अर्चादिषु स्थाप्य अंडरलाइन दिस वर्ड पीपल आस्क हिंदूस आर् वर्शिपिंग द ईडल स्टोन मेटल डू वी वर्शिप मेटल डू वी वर्शिप ईडल Look at this sloka, because we do not know how the paddhati, the achara of installing the Lord deity that is called prana pratishtha. I bring out the sakshi chaitanyam, the consciousness. I do avahanam. Avahanam means what invoking. what i invoke in that stone i want to worship this brahma chaitanyam therefore i want to show my gratitude giving this body this universe to enjoy everything therefore i bring this chaitanyam brahma sakshi chaitanyam i just mentally invoke this um, atma chaitanyam upon that deity then the deity become what is a just a paper or metal or stone no it is no more a stone that sadrupena chidrupena bhagavan i imagine imagining that because sadrupena already there deity asti is there stone is there what i do sakshi chaitanyam chidrupam i invoke then bhagwan become as real for me there for that bhakta 
not for everyone. For me who is having that concept, this is Devalayam, I want to worship outside, therefore I invoke upon the deity. Avahya invoking archadishu upon those uh, deity forms. Ashtavidha already we saw. Any one form you can take. Adishu sthapya having fixed, fixing the Lord in that um, pratima. Sthapya. What we have to do next? Nyastangam maam prapujayet. Nyastangam means each limb of the Lord I have to worship. Each limb of the Lord. How you take care of your, your each limb of the body? Once you invoke that uh, Atma Chaitanyam upon that deity who is in front of you in the form of uh, metal or idol or stone or anything, it is no more a stone, no more a metal, no more a paper. That Bhagwan is there for me. Just as you look at your mother photo, father photo, don't you feel their presence in that? It is only paper, photo only. You feel your mother in that. You feel your father in that. If anybody come and ask, what you are doing? Only this is paper, photo. No, even though it is a photo, I know it. Even though it is a paper, I know it. But uh, I feel my mother is there, my father is there, or my grandfather is there, my guru is there. This is called bhavana. Bhavana alone makes the person to that highest devotee. Yadrusi bhavana esya siddhir bhavati tadrusi. As your bhavana, so is your you know, devotion or your result also comes to you. Nyastanga means do you say like anganyas how you do on your body? Similarly, upon the limbs of the Bhagavan, you worship. Nyastanga maam prapujayet. Maam such a Bhagavan. Maam means such a Krishna. Prapujayet. Krishna means here Vishnu. Prapujayet. May you worship me. Up to here, we saw in the last class avahito bhava sthapito bhava anganyasa is of two types one is anganyasa on your own limbs anganyasa on the limbs of bhagavan so in this shloka nyastangam maam manar. so here anganyasam krutva an pratima and the deity is the meaning. Next shloka 25. Padyopas parshar karnadin upacharan prakalpayet dharmadhi vishchanavabhihi kalpayetvasanam mama padnamashtadalam tat Karnika Kesarujvalam Ubhabhyam Veda Tantrabhyam Mahyam Tu Bhayasiddhayam A real Vedantin is one who understands the religious a religious way of life, puja, worship, etc. That's why I say every jnani is a great bhakta. Every wise person was a great bhakta, is a great bhakta, ever will be a great bhakta. Normally people think jnani means no bhakti. 
ನೋಡಿ ಓಶನ್ ಬಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಭಕ್ತ ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಭಕ್ತ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಬಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಭಕ್ತ ನೋ ನೋ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ರಿಲಿಜಿಯಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಈ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಎ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಅನ್ನ ನೆವರ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಈ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಎ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಅನ್ನ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿ ಮೊರಾನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ರ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ಹಾರ್ನ್ ಇಟ್ ನೆವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿ ಸೋ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ scriptures gives knowledge that is impossible impossible because after studying bhagavad gita thoroughly this is our understanding there is no spiritual life without ishvara ishvara that is why religion and philosophy both go hand in hand real vedantin real mumukshu real seeker of moksha never away from bhagavan if anybody thinks like that i am not religious but i am spiritual it is a false statement if at all anybody does that statement lack of understanding of scriptures if a person studied shastra under a competent guru for a length of time never say that remember never say that what is that i am spiritual but i am not a religious person i don't want to visit temples i don't want to do all this idol worship and all but i always great philosopher na is a great bluff that means he is confused and confusing the people because not able to understand the scriptures properly making or blabbering making unnecessary statements confusing the people be careful from those people such a type of people anybody come you come across you are not supposed to be no, yielded to them look into the shloka now how to worship the bhagavan you have installed invoked that bhagavan how you have invoked what is the invocation you made him that um, prana pratishthana that alone so that sakshi chaitanyam i invoked from my heart and i stop ya means i fixed in that deity then i start to worshiping that how padye upasarpa uparsparsha arhanadin padye means offering the water to wash the feet offering water to cleanse the mouth padya upasparsha achamanam upasparsha means achamanam arhanadin arhanam means uh, um, arghyam padyam samarpayami arghyam samarpayami achamaniyam samarpayami that alone bhagwan presents here upacharan prakalpayet all this upacharas first we'll go to second line and third line then come to the first line dharma dhivischa navabhihi dharma all virtues first you have to visualize all the virtues of the lord glories of the lord all are given in the footnote also by the commentators also they have given gnana kriya yoga prahvi satya ishanaha uh, 
all those uh, virtues you can uh, navabhihi in it. Dharma divischa navabhihi. There are nine. In footnote you can see they have given in English translation and uh, the powers like uh, Vimala, Utkarshini, etc. So all of them, these virtues with them. But otherwise why have to worship Bhagavan? He must be great. That's why Bhagavan he is called Aishwaryascha, Samagrascha, Viryascha, Asashasriyaha, Jnana Vairagya Yoschaiva, Shanna Bhaga Itirana. You know this in Bhashyam also Acharya writes. Hmm? Therefore, Dharma Bhitsya Navabhihi Asanam Mama Asanam Kalpayitva. So, Kalpanam, you have to imagine. Kalpayitva. You prepare mentally, you do that you know, with the nine virtues of the Lord. You, that is the real asanam. Okay. Mama asanam kalpayitva. How na? Padma ashtadalam tatra. So, with a lotus. Padma means lotus. Ashtadalam. Eight petal lotus. Mentally, you have to offer that um, kalpayitva. Padma ashtadalam tatra kalpayitva. So, kalpayitva you have to supply everywhere. Tatra karnika kesara ujvalam. Means um, um, that uh, beautiful lotus which has got uh, the, in the middle of the lotus you can see that uh, raised look, flat form like that is there. Upon that kesarims and stems are there, stamens like that, that is uh, raised um, portion of the lotus um, you have to visualize. Uh, that has got uh, stamens and uh, we call uh, no, like a small, small, small things comes out of that pet, no, lotus. Uh, from that uh, high um, raised portion of the lotus. So, extraordinary beautiful lotus. Ujjvalam means uh, an extraordinary beautiful lotus. Um, raised portion in the lotus. From that uh, uh, that stem means, you know, has come kesari. You know, they are called kesar. Then you have to offer padyam, arkhyam, achamaniyam, uh, upachara. All these are called upachara. Chagaraja also in Bhairavi Raga, he sings Upacharamu chese varunnarani maruvakurana. <laughs> oh Lord Rama, don't forget. For you, there is a devotee called Chagaraja to serve you, Upacharamu, to do puja. Padhyam, Arkhanadin, Achamanam, all these Upacharam prakalpayet. Prakalpayet means to be done. All these Upacharas to be done. With what? Then afterwards what you have to do? Hmm? After invoking those nine powers in that Lord, in each part of the Lord, each limb of the Lord, you have to invoke. Ubhabhyam Veda Tantrabhyam Makhyam Tu Ubhaya Siddhaye. Ubhabhyam means with both Veda Mantra and Tantrabhyam. Vaidika Mantra and Agama mantras. Vaidika mantras means with the swara, they have swara mantras occurring in the Veda. And second one, Tantra Abhya means Agama Shastra, some slokas are there. Our whole Stotra Mala is Tantra. It is not Mantram. Stotram, Stuti. Why it is called Stotra Mala? We play in before the class, every class. Why? It is the stuti about Bhagavan. 
that stuti this uh, purifies my mind removes all my obstacles let's say 10 minutes before 15 minutes before we play those stutis of bhagavan all day it is and uh, even this class itself uh, we can consider as a puja it is not just uh, uh, listening to uddhava gita it is as i am listening to bhagavan i feel like that i am worshiping bhagavan i feel like that when you are listening also if you feel it's wonderful so just not listening this is it is a type of puja your mind is totally absorbed you visualize that lord you have brought out that sakshi chaitanya mentally imagining and installed in that invoking in that deity and you can talk to him you can share all your problems with him or with her the deity with the vedic mantras and stotras mahyam tu ubhaya siddhaye mahyam ubhabhyam prakalpayet <coughs> they should worship me in this manner mahyam tu ubhaya siddhaye means um, bhukti and mukti artha kama to get artha kama basic needs for everyone it is necessary artha kama and uh, of course mukti dharma and moksha four purusharthas to one category another two comes under one category dharma artha kama bhukti and mukti moksha so four purusharthas included classified into shreyascha prayascha manushya metaha shreyaha and prayaha ubhaya means prayaha bhukti shreyaha mukti nar ubhaya siddhahe mahyam prakalpayet all these to be done to fulfill now see the purpose is given what is the purpose purpose is to fulfill purusharthas four purusharthas dharma artha kama moksha so i take out the lord divinity from my heart from my heart as it were and install in the idol which is in the form of sakshi chaitanyam picture may be any one of the eight um, ashtadha any one form of the eight you can take next verse next page 330 continuation upon even bhagwan's um, what are all is having hand uh, shankha chakra gada also should be worshiped that's why you see the priest in the temple or at home also when they are worshiping they keep flower on the conch and the sudarshana chakra the kumkuma they keep in everything not only on the face of the lord and every limb of the lord they keep kumkuma flower <coughs> sudarshanam pancha janyam gada si shudhanur halan मुसलम कौस्तुभम मालाजयेदूजेद अलॉंग विथ पूजा ऑफ मेन डेटी अलॉंग विथ द पूजा ऑफ मेन डेटी वॉट आर ऑल दे हैव टू वर्शिप दैट मार्क्स Uh, or um, uh, that um, what are all bhagwan is holding in his hand number 1 sudarshanam you know sudarshanam means samyak darshanam is called sudarshanam okay sudarshana chakram why it is called as sudarshanam because sudarshanam is equal to atma gnanam 
if you put uh, flower to the sudarshana chakram you will get samya gnanam hmm? darshana means gnanam suvu means samya right knowledge that's why in vaishnava sampradaya they call chakrat alwar uh, alwar per chakrat alwar na uh, sudarshana chakram vaish the same otherwise if you don't uh, worship everything ahankara will come that is always waiting <laughs> to make our ahankara subservient it should not obstruct my spiritual journey that's why this uh, type of worship is kept sudarshanam next one one has to offer flowers kumkuma chandanam etc on panchajanyam bhagavan su kanch panchajanyam rishi kesha like that we know the kanch of the bhagavan is panchajanyam the next gada after kanch panchajanyam the gada means that club we call it as gada you know gada means gada gada we can understand club we cannot understand gada <laughs> then uh, asishu asi ishu asi means sword gada asishu dhanul khalan so you have to see each word gada asi ishu dhanu khalan gada means um, club and that also should be worshiped and uh, sword asi that also should be worshiped the weapons of the lord paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya cha duskritam the weapons are used to destroy the asuras external asuras and internal asuras also bhagavan let your weapon should destroy my kama krodha lobha moha madamatsarya that's why i put kumkuma to the sword of the lord sudarshana chakra of the lord so that uh, my raga dveshas which are obstacles in my spiritual journey not allowing me to know my higher nature this ahankara is standing like a big hurdle that has to be surrendered to bhagwan so these weapons can issue means um, arrows dhanu bow hmm? bow and arrows also you have to rama is holding the kodandam you can see that rama lalla hmm? in uh, ayodhya holding that uh, you know kodanda pani vedalenu kodanda pani nar they put to, to that arrow also is there one hand and balaram balaram illa balaram Uh, one hand issue arrow another hand bow you have to worship both of them also put flower kumkuma to that issue dhanu halan plow uh, plow also is there in the hand of bhagwan musalam another uh, weapon um, musalam uh, called mace all these are uh, also on ornaments what are ornaments kaustubham diamond bhagwan wearing that mala vana mala then srivatsam there is a black mark in on the chest of the lord that also you have to worship uh, vana mala srivatsankam and this shloka comes in vishnu sahasranam శ్రీవత్సం బ్లాక్ మోల్డ్ దే కాల్ అనుపూజయేత్ అలాంగ్ విత్ మార్క్ ఆన్ ద చెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద లార్డ్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో టు బి వర్షిప్ ఈజ్ ఆర్ ఆల్ టు బి వర్షిప్ హూజ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ మీ భగవాన్ కృష్ణ ఈజ్ టెల్లింగ్ ఓకే నందం సునందం గరుడం ప్రచండం చండమేవ మహాబలం బలం చైవ కుముదం కుముదే క్షణం దెన్ 
all other body gods of that lord when you are entering into the temple every temple there are two body gods in front of that garbhagriha so they are all watching us with what motive you are entering inside all are noticed in the book what book don't ask me bhagwan has got that computer uh, eight body gods of the lord given here nanda number one body god number one like our uh, prime minister when he get down anywhere all the time that black dress who are wearing and uh, they are very alert they are very alert and many times uh, you know, they they don't allow prime minister to do this and that because uh, for his life sake only they always were guarding him no our local prime minister ke so many bodyguards are there and what to talk of bhagwan huh? here prime minister ke for security sake for bhagwan not for security sake okay don't compare that okay so bhagwan ke to saru bhagwan to saru bhagwan nandam sunandam all are in ditiya vibhakti you have to worship them also and do puja to that nanda body god and sunanda body god and prachanda fourth one chanda fifth one mahabala sixth one bala and seventh one kumudam eighth one is kumudekshanam anupujayet you have to supply anupujayet final one is garudam garuda means vahana garuda vahana narayana so that lord to be worshiped whose um, vehicle is um, garuda next uh, shloka 26 uh, 29 durgam vinayakam vyasam विश्वक्सेन गुरून सुरान स्वे स्वे स्थाने मुखा पूजे प्रोक्षणादि दुर्गा नॉट ओनली विष्णु पीपुल हैव सम पीपुल से इफ यू वर्शिप कृष्ण ओनली कृष्ण ओनली हाउ टू वर्शिप Shiva only you have to worship. You should not worship other gods. If you worship other gods, that god will uh, get uh, anger. All this uh, confusion, confusion is a delusion. <laughs> delusion. It's not so. That's why Krishna is telling Durga, may you worship Durga, Shakti. Shakti is required. That means Bhagavan Vishnu doesn't have Shakti. No, it is not like that. he should worship him uh, and welcome and offer prayers to durga devi goddess durga pujayet vinayakam pujayet that vinayaka also to be worshiped vyasam pujayet vyasa bhagwan himself telling about you know bhagavata written by vyasa bhagwan he himself says may you worship vyasa also why व्यासाय विष्णुपाय व्यासूपा विष्णवे नमो वै ब्रह्म निधे वाशिष्ठाय नमो नम सो व्यास पूजे देन विश्वक्सेन पूजे सो वन ऑफ द अवतार ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु इज विश्वक्सेन विश्वक्सेन मीन हू इज हैविंग आर्मी इन ऑल डैरेक्शन हू थ्रो अवे ऑल हिस् एनिमीस so that uh, vishwaksena um, is a great uh, um, enemy destroyer nartham enemy destroyer vishwak anchati iti vishwaksena in uh, various directions enemies were uh, were run away na they will run because of his power vishwaksena 
when vikshaksena comes all enemies run away run 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 from all directions they cannot stand in front of you if you worship vikshaksena you will won't get any enemies because he will take care of all your enemies to run <laughs> like that then guru the guru also to, should be worshiped you can keep guru's photo also and uh, worship him that is also and uh, given here and suran suran means um, ashtadik palakas indra varuna agni yama in the southern side ama is there indra is there eastern side like that in all directions dikpalakas are there and different devatas sve sve sthane in their own places you have to worship tvabhimukhan towards you they are facing towards you you have to worship them in respective places respective places means what uh, in the footnote they have given indra and other rulers of the spheres and the directions respective places means different points of the compass you know, different points and that, that's why in puja uh, sthanams and all the people who do worship in the lord every day they know all these uh, things uh, places facing me facing to the main deity and uh, when they do they worship you cannot bring indra from eastern direction from yama from western direction therefore you do namaskara mentally to that that's why they do, uh, do prokshanam and all this side and that side hmm? and left side left side uh, and forward backward also they sprinkle water <laughs> Uh, that means all directions they do and uh, next uh, puja yet may you worship iksha prokshanadi bihi by sprinkling water by sprinkling water prokshanadi bihi next uh, shloka 30 chandano shira kar ಪೂರ ಕುಂಕುಮಗುರ ವಾಸಿತೈ ಸರಿಲೈ ಸ್ನಾಪೇನ್ ಮಂತ್ರೈ ನಿತ್ಯದ ವಿಭವೇ ಸತಿ ಸ್ವರ್ಣಘರ್ಮಾನುವಾಕೇನ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ವಿದ್ಯೆಯ ಪೌರುಷೇಣಿ ಸೂಕ್ತ ಫರ್ದರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪೂಜಾ ವರ್ಷಿಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಚಂದನ ಯು ನೋ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ನ ಚಂದನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಉಶಿರ ಕರ್ಪೂರ ಉಶಿರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫುಟ್ ನೋಟ್ ಪರ್ ನ ಕುಶ್ 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 ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಗ್ರೆಂಟ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ರೋಪೋಗಾನ್ ಮ್ಯುರಿಕಟಸ್ ಮ್ಯುರಿಕಟ್ ಮ್ಯುರಿಕಟಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ನೇಮ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹೌ ಟು ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸ್ ನ ಎನಿ ಹೋ ಕುಶ್ ಕುಶ್ ಉಶಿರ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಗ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ see this maruvam dhavanam they say small uh, green uh, plant how much smell in kadambam when they are uh, tying the flowers in between some uh, leaves they put maruvam dhavanam we call in telugu uh, how much smell it comes how much smell my god in leaves bhagwan kept that much smell hmm? you keep some place in the whole house it comes smell like that some root of the plant some roots also vetiver how much smell is there in vetiver okay lot of smell chandana vishira karpura you know pacha karpuram kumkuma and the kumkuma also beautiful smell comes in uh, i went to sri salem 
last week that uh, kumkuma they have given we did abhishekam rudra abhishekam there and the kumkuma they give it no fragrance how much fragrance what do they mix it in that we do not know just open and keep the lot of uh, comes and um, there are uh, some uh, leaves give some um, in a uh, thumb some from kumkuma they mix some leaves also uh, <laughs> like that kumkuma agar aguru has given aguru or agar agarbatti they make agar why it is called agarbatti in um, incense sticks called agarbatti because they use the material called aguru or agaru since they use that material in that uh, agarbatti it is called agarbatti <laughs> okay agaru vasitaihi scented water salilaihi vasitaihi salilaihi scented water paneer jalam snapayent may you give bath to bhagwan with all this <laughs> may you give bath or put abhishekam put on the deity kumkuma archana they are doing chandanam they pour and uh, all this um, uh, scented water <coughs> snapayet then mantraihi nityada mantraihi means with uh, hymns Ah, Karpuram, I told you. Okay. Uh, Saffron. Uh, Karpura Kunkumagaru Vasitaihi. Camphor, Saffron and uh, here Kunkuma means Saffron. That Kesar is Saffron. Uh, then uh, uh, Snapayet Mantraihi with Mantras by chanting Mantras like what um, Swarna Dharma Anuvakena Swarna Dharma It is not Dharma, it is Dharma G-H-E Kakha Gagha Fourth Gha Swarna Dharma They are given in the footnote also Suvarnam Dharma Pariveda Venam That mantra With that mantra one has to chant do chanting and do puja not only that mahapurusha vidyaya mahapurusha vidyaya is also another uh, um, mantra it is uh, first um, verse or uh, opening verse of vishnu puranam opening verse in vishnu puranam uh, they have given in footnote also stanza uh, Sanjaya means a sloka you can, they have to chant from Vishnu Purana. That is called Mahapurusha Vidyaya. Then Paurushena Pi Suktena. It is a Purusha Suktam. Sahasra Sirsha Purushaha Sahasra Akshas Sahasra Vat. Like that. Sama Sama Vihi Rajana Devihi. That um, uh, Rajana means uh, beginning with the uh, that also given in footnote Indra Naro Nemadhita that mantra begins with Indra that is called Rajana Sama Rajana Sama Adi Bhimis etc. Mantras one can uh, chant and um, do lot of uh, no, offerings to Bhagavan very nicely and uh, mantras also any mantras if you do not know where the sama mantras and all doesn't matter our stotramala is there you can chant any shloka from that ganga stotram itself is a beautiful stotram aditya hridayam and so many shloka stotramala there are there and uh, chanting also available in uh, website and uh, youtube also learn some shlokas Stotrams and all. That is very, very useful. Any time you can chant mentally, Manasa, Parayanam. That is uh, very useful to purify one's own mind. More in the next class. 
ஓம் பூர்ணமத பூர்ணமிதம் பூர்ணாத் பூர்ணமுதச்சதே பூர்ணஸ்ய பூர்ணமாதாய பூர்ணமேவாவசிஷ்யதே ஓம் சாந்தி 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 ஹரி ஓம் ஸ்ரீகுருபோ நம ஹரி ஓம்